Welcome to Business 7, Accounting for Small Business. This is our first chapter, and it's an introductory chapter, Accounting the Language of Business. Um, this chapter has uh, mostly just definitions and some theoretical foundations for our field of study. This is the chapter where you will have to complete a Learn Smart assignment and a quiz, but it's the only chapter without the actual homework problems. So we will start doing the actual homework accounting, homework solving problems starting chapter two. In this one, this is just theory and concepts. So there are two sections to this chapter. In the first one, we will talk about what accounting is. And in the second, we will talk about uh, accounting and its business environment. All right. So accounting for small business, we're going to focus on the sole proprietorship on a small business. And I'm sure many of you are either small business owners right now, or you help your family manage your small business, or your dream or your goal might be to open your own business. And as the owner of the business, these are some of the questions that small business owners um, ask themselves, ask their accountants to make decisions about the future of their business. We want to know what profit or loss is. And for that, we will use the income statement or so-called P&L statement, profit and loss. Uh, you want to know payroll. You want to know the uh, value of your assets. You want to know your cash flow, inflows and outflows. You might want to know your depreciation for equipment and trucks and cars and buildings. And besides earning the profit, I do want to emphasize that just focusing on financial information to make decisions is not enough. We also have to worry about the customer service that has to be reliable and consistent. A small business has social responsibility and has to be ethical and has to think about its future. So if we ask uh, a person on the street about accounting, often they think that accounting is just black and white. You know, we used to have, and I think we still have that perception out there that accounting is the process of being counting. I thought you meant you were an accountant, but actually you're sitting here counting beans. So um, it's a view that accounting is very mechanical. We use data, there are rules, right and wrong answer, and then we have assets, liabilities, and we produce financial statements. So public often has a view of accounting as a mechanical, black or white, right or wrong process. In reality, accountants should be viewed, uh, accounting should be viewed as a profession that allows uh, informed, good, effective decision-making, and we increase the, pros uh, the prosperity of our society. It's all about acad uh, economic activities, and there is no really black and white. You will see there are a lot of shades of gray, and accounting is about judgments and making decisions, not about you know right and wrong answers. And we provide a lot of good information for so many good different uh, important parties inside of the company and outside of the company and finally investors and lenders and companies and managers and employees and unions make decisions that lead to a better more prosperous society that's what we call accounting so i want you to, uh, to understand that shift that i'm going to try to make throughout this course uh, through education uh, I want the perception of many of you, I'm sure, that make, that accounting is just a you know, mechanical process, move and shift your perception to the reality uh, about making good decisions for the better of our society. Uh, but this is the definition of, of accounting that comes from your textbook. And you can see here it's all about uh, producing financial information and giving it to different parties inside and outside of the company, as I mentioned. And these are five functions of accounting. We're classifying, recording, summarizing, interpreting, and communicating financial information. So these are five functions of accounting. Um, the final result of financial accounting are financial statements. This is the definition that you need to know. We will learn specifics uh, about financial statements in chapter two. They are periodic reports of the company's financial position 
and operating results. It, it's worth mentioning that we will study three financial statements in this class as they relate to small business. In reality, corporations prepare five financial statements and you will learn uh, more about them in higher level courses if you take them. And the firm's financial position, that's the balance sheet. We will talk about it in chapter two. And the company's operating results are shown on the income statement. Uh, career opportunities. So there are a lot of jobs in accounting and some of the examples include an accounting clerk or a bookkeeper or an accountant. At Chabot we offer um, two certificates in accounting. So we have a bookkeeping certificate which is the shortest one uh, and uh, you know Mm, uh, for bookkeepers, so you complete the certificate and you can find a job as a bookkeeper. Uh, bookkeeper often works for you know for themselves and keeps books from and payroll for uh, a few small businesses. Uh, so the focus is more general. So you do a lot of different things for each business. An accounting clerk is usually somebody who works for a bigger business and just oversees you know, one component of accounts and it could be a payroll clerk or an accounts receivable clerk or accounts payable clerk and we have an accounting tech certificate and we also have a two-year degree in accounting, uh, AS in accounting. Uh, the actual accountant usually requires a bachelor's degree and for that uh, job you would need to complete a transfer degree at Chabot which is the AST, AS dash T for transfer in business administration, not in accounting, in business administration, and then you transfer to a four-year school. So you pick up your first two years of college at Chabot and you finish up specializing in accounting at a four-year school and then you have your four-year degree in business with an emphasis uh, of accounting or just in accounting. Um, Accountants work primarily in three different areas. There is public accounting, managerial, and governmental. Public accounting, you work for a CPA firm and your goal is to serve public. You are hired by other businesses to do auditing, to do advisory and consulting, to do their taxes. But you are loyal to the profession, you work for a CPA firm and you come as an external auditor or hired for money to do taxes or bookkeeping or consulting services by other businesses. Managerial accounting, you actually work for Tesla, you work for Apple, you work for Southwest Airlines, you work in their accounting department inside of that company and you know you can be doing many many different things as an accountant and the bigger the company is more specialized different areas of accounting are. Or you can work for government or nonprofit. You can work for the FBI or for the IRS or for a university or for a, a, a hospital or for a school district. Um, so, as I mentioned, public accountants work uh, in the so-called CPA firms and the CPA stands for a Certified Public Accountant. It's an independent accountant who provides accounting services to the public for a fee and these are some of the educational requirements as well as experience requirements before you can sit for a full part exam, CPA exam. Uh, as you can see here for educational requirements, you have to have any bachelor's degree, it doesn't have to be in accounting, and you have to have requirements of specific units in accounting, 24 units, and this class uh, fulfills three of those units, and additional 24 units in business-related subjects, and you have to take an uh, ethics course, and so on and so far. Uh, you can look those up at the Cal CPA, California CPA website. Okay, managerial accounting, as I said, you work for uh, uh, a specific company in the industry. So you work in the accounting department for uh, a bigger company. And as I mentioned, these are different services that managerial accountants do.
provide and governmental accounting i also mentioned you prepare financial reports you keep financial statements for a federal state or local government unit and this is some of the government agencies that employ a lot of accountants we will talk about the securities and exchange commission remember it's the sec this is the governing really body overseeing all public corporations all public corporations have to file their financial statements with the sec and the sec sec appoints a, a board called fasb the Financial Accounting Standards Board that develops accounting rules and policies called GAAP. And we talk about them at the end of this chapter. IRS, FBI, DHS, and so on and so forth. Okay, who are the users of financial information? And there are users inside of our business. If I'm a small business owner or a manager or an employee, I use financial information, financial statements as, as budgets and other reports we produce in accounting and also a lot of parties outside of the business. Um, tax authorities, our suppliers want to know our financial position and our ability to pay um, will pay our bills and unions when they, they go into the negotiations and regulatory agencies such as the SEC and the customers and the banks. And from a perspective of financial accounting, the major, most important uh, user are investors. In this class, again, we're talking about a small business with one owner. But if you talk about corporations, and that's going to be a focus of next class, business 1A, corporations require uh, investors or stockholders to buy shares of stock. And everything we do in financial statements has a focus of investors in mind and their future decision making. Okay, this is a law that came into effect in 2002 after a number of accounting scandals that involved various companies. Uh, one of the most famous is the Enron scandal, and we will talk about it, um, you know, throughout the class. Uh, the company really uh, cooked their books and uh, lied to their investors, but there were many other companies, WorldCom and Waste Management, and some companies survived, some did not, and the Congress implemented this law. Uh, these are just last names of the Congress people who wrote the law, Sarbanes and Oxley. We call it SOX, and this law implemented major changes in the regulatory environment and made accounting sexy again. S starting early 2000s, companies have to comply with this law so there are a lot of jobs opened up for accounting and a lot of new areas of accounting opened up uh, so this law created this public company accounting oversight board that oversees all auditors all CPA firms there are rules on consulting services if I hire a CPA firm to do the audit of my books I cannot hire and pay the same company to consult me and to design my accounting system because that's what happened with Enron. They hired a big CPA firm called Arthur Anderson, paid, paid them to set up the uh, fraudulent accounting system and then paid them again to audit the financial reports produced using that system. So uh, the auditor rotation, you know, the not the company, but the actual main auditor, the partner who oversees an audit has to be changed every three to five years. There are criminal penalties for fraud uh, and destroying documents. And now the CEO and CFO have to actually sign off on financial statements so that they could be held liable. And there's also protection for employees who blow the whistle for whistleblowers. Okay, so this is a couple of questions. Accounting is the process by which financial information about business is blank, classified, blank, interpreted and communicated to interested parties. So what are the two functions missing? One of them is recorded and another one is summarized. Financial statements are periodic reports of a firm's financial blank. What is that? The balance sheet shows the company's financial position or blank results. The income statement shows operating results. Accountants usually practice in these three areas, public accounting, blank accounting, and governmental accounting. The blank is managerial accounting. 
CPA stands for Certified Public Accountant. The review of financial statements to assess their fairness and adherence to generally accepted accounting principles, GAAP, is called audit or auditing. And the ESEC stands for the Securities and Exchange Commission. Thank you so much. I will complete uh, the second section of this chapter in the second video.